All right, welcome to this video where we're gonna talk about upsell funnels. Again, these are gonna be technical wise. They are not gonna main, they are, gonna, they are not aimed for you to learn complex advanced conversion strategy and stuff like that, copy design. If you're interested in that, I do have uh, a course specific for that. In this one, all I want to do is make sure that you learn how great system is and how simple it is for you to build an upsell funnel, okay? That's the main goal. So how we're gonna do it is we're gonna use the sales funnel structure that we already have with the same order form in a thank you page. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna review this so you make sure that you also know the details right here. So for the sales or the order page here, very, very simple. We made it as simple as possible. What we need is a full name, an email address, a payment method, an order details so the user knows exactly how much they're gonna pay and what they're gonna get. An order bump, it's optional. A click by now, it's absolutely needed. And if you are in the EU or you want to be compliant, you add a checkbox at the end. I agree with everything and done, okay? If you also need billing address or shipping address, you can add another one here, which instead of contact information, you add here, shipping information, and then you add the files or the forms that you absolutely need, okay? Have in mind that if you don't 100% need that, the more steps you add in the sequence, the less conversion rates gonna get. Now the, the second thing is gonna be the thank you page. Very, very simple. For the thank you page, we need a product summary. We need a thank you, the payment was a success. And we need a step to how you're gonna re receive everything, okay? So this is just to guide your user to understand, okay, my money was well spent. This is how I'm gonna get it. I can also join a community. This is awesome, right? That's basically the psychology behind it. So how do we build an upsell? So an upsell is basically every, every step after an order form. So what we need is, is to add a new step. So we're gonna call it upsell step. And now in the type, this is really important. You go to sales and you choose upsell or downsell, okay? Don't really, doesn't really matter too much, but upsell is gonna be the one they're gonna be using. So you click upsell. Now here, we're gonna save. Once we are here, you drag this in between these two, okay? And now we just need to select the, 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 the template that we want. Again, this is not to, to focus on conversions. I'm just gonna be using one template that you know I kinda, I kinda like, which is gonna be this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this template. But you can use any template or you can build your own or you can get a template, uh, a free template that I've built or a paid template that I've built as well. I have free p templates and paid templates for you as well. So now here, what do we need? Okay, the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and add the page. And in this page, the order is 80% completed. They did it this way. Wait, your order is not complete. This is a one step kind of thing. So basically here is you need to let them know they just purchased something. So what they are you know, looking for is to get access to it. So they are anxious about getting access to it. So what you need to do is, hey, your order was successful. We are gonna send it in a couple of minutes. But before we go, we have another one-time offer for you that you are gonna see anywhere else, okay? Right here, you'll never see again. And then you share what the offer is. It needs to be very, very clear. You don't know how many funnels I audit and how many funnels I work on to fix that in the upsell, they just think about, okay, this is a product, buy me the product. And people feel like, okay, uh, wasn't I supposed to get access to the purchase that I just did? Where is my money? Where, what did I do? What's going on, right? So you need to give clarity to your, your, to your users what's going on. So you give that, that, the, that information. And if you want, you can give more information about the product. You, sh you should do that. And then you have two options. You can either accept offer button right here and you accept it. Or you have a, a skip, which is a decline offer button. So have in mind that these are two buttons, okay? So if you go to the left side, you're gonna have accept button and you're gonna have a decline button. So these are two buttons. The main reason why this doesn't look like a button is because the background color is nothing, right? If you change, now it looks like a button. Right here, they just decrease the opacity to zero. So it doesn't look like a button, okay? It just looks like a text. Very minimalistic, doesn't grab attention, done. Okay, so you can do those things. They need an accept button or a decline button. That's it. Very simple. You can go ahead and adjust the things, how they look and all that stuff. Awesome, right? But 
it needs to be accept or decline. Make sure that accept button is more appealing than the decline, of course, but that's pretty much about it, what you need, okay? Accept, decline, and then make sure that you guide your users to understanding your purchase was successful, but we have another offer that you're not gonna see ever again, and this is the offer, it's amazing, add this to my order or skip offer, okay? And that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this because we already have accept and decline, I'm gonna save it, done, okay? Now, of course, you can add more stuff into it, but this is pretty much about it. So now what we need to do is we need to select the type of product that it is. If it's physical product, you go ahead and you select what it is. If it's a digital product, you go ahead and you select the one that you are selling, okay? Just like we did with, uh, you know, in the previous videos where we share with you how to do this stuff, okay? For the price plans, same thing. You just choose the price plan that you like and then save. And there we go. Everything is saved automatically, as you can see here, okay? And now we go to uh, edit page. And this one is gonna be associated with the product. This one is not gonna be, it's gonna be just declining product. And when you do decline, you're gonna go to the next step, which is the thank you page. If they purchase both page, both products, and you have the dynamic right here, if you have this product or the summary, it's going to dynamically update to it. If you just pr pr purchase one, is going to dynamically update to it as well, okay? So you don't really need to worry. It's this simple to set up. The only thing I would do is set up an automation right here, automation rule for this purchase, and then an automation rule for this one so that you can then understand if they made a purchase or not, okay? So if they made a purchase here, but they didn't make the purchase there, then you can follow up with them with the emails. In this case, I cannot do that because I have the, the, the free version, so I cannot do a lot more automations there, uh, but I might bring a video just for that. Um, but you want to set up automations right here. I don't have a, uh, you know, I don't have like a, a way to do it because I, I have reached the limit, but basically the page is visited, they didn't purchase anything, and then you, you you go ahead and uh, follow up with emails for automations, okay? So this is how simple it is. Um, if you are interested in um, in knowing more about order pages, upsell pages, you know, if you want to use my free templates or my paid templates, make sure that you go ahead and, and look for those um, or send me a DM in my community or directly in Facebook and I'm gonna send you those uh, your way as well. If you are also interested in knowing more about design and conversions, I have free resources and paid resources for that. Also make sure that you check those out as well. Have a wonderful day and have fun using system.